Hello and welcome back to Taddy's Co Sailing. In the last episode we fitted the wind vane to the top of the mast and fitted the bracket and we also ran the wires down the mast. Now in this one we'll be fitting the anchor light and getting that hooked up and then we've got to run the wires through the roof on top of Merakai so we can actually power the thing at the top of the mast. Now here's me building the bracket for the anchor light out of a scrap piece of metal. Shaped up this mount for the anchor light to go on top of the mast. Attach the bolt on there, wire to the bottom, run down the wires I've rerun the mast, and I've set LED as well. So I never go out. I also added a touch of paint to clean up a little bit because it was rough metal and then I drilled the holes for it. This little bracket there you can see and then two wires come out run down the side up to the power ones here just got to hook them up and waterproof them and whatnot it's all set to go and kite and a wind vane. Right so today we've got the install of the connection for the wind vane and also the deck land fitting so that the water gets inside the boat. Right, so I finally decided I'm gonna mount this on this side. Um, gives me a bit of space up here if I wanna stand or when the mast is coming down, won't be interfering. Um, and then this wire will uh, kink into the side a bit and then out around the bend and there's a little lip on the side here so that'll tuck it down out of the way nicely and then i'll put the joint here like this um might put a bracket in might not maybe a bit of uh, rubber or something and then um potentially put this somewhere possibly here uh, just to allow it to poke in quite tight here um, or I can put it here, it doesn't matter too much. It's just... Down through here we've got the, the lights underneath running on the inside. So this will come off just to the side and then I can run the wires in down here across the channel because you've got the um, nav lights on each side of the boat and then it'll just run down the side back to where the... where the... just above there is where the chart plotter is and all the wiring board and everything. So that should be quite easy. I'll show you on the inside now. The cable should come down right where that rod of wires is. Uh, probably got that wire dangling is for the anchor light. So that should be a pretty simple wire up. And then I can just chase the other um, NEMA 2000 linked wire all the way around to the side up in the top before I put my uh, ceiling panels on and then into my circuit board and I can hook it up to my switches. So. Let's mark out these holes. Um, we're gonna put it right here. So we use a screwdriver, it's easy. Right, clean up time. Right, we've got the hole up here. Um, I have to clean up the fiberglass around the sides, but I'm going to take this lead. I'm going to have quite a lot of uh, excess on the end of this. I don't know if you can see, it's like quite a long length, but it's only got to only got to run around the side of this in here. So I'll tuck this up and through the hole. Like that.
on. There we go, you can see that now. So that will click on somewhere. Right there, and then that'll clamp down. And then just like that it'll go. Quite a tidy solution really. And then we'll do the hookups for the wires. This connection go in here. That'll run off down there. Right, it's also time to drill the pilot holes for the screws. They'll probably go all the way through, but I'll eventually rebolt them. Typical, we've got to put that on. Right, just stuck that on there. That'll foam pad, see if it seals up. It feels like it should. It's got a 3M on the back as well, which is pretty decent. See if that seals up. If not, I'll do something different. Right, I'll put that bit of foam on the bottom of it now. I'm gonna see up the first time. That sits quite nicely on there. Um, it's fine like that for now. So I'll get the screws out and screw it down. Alright, that's all fit up now. Very solid. Can't break it or anything. Well, probably can't break it, but good enough for now so now we'll get the cover on it not too bad and then just picture this like this we're throwing the connector up like that be quite a clean little install. It definitely solves the problem of having to unplug the mask to take it down. We go to Anchor Light. Let's see. Uh, light up there. Well, it sure is. So that's a success, but nothing too difficult. Two wires. Now I did just twist the anchor light wires together just to see it work as I was running out of light. So in the next episode you'll see me connect up the wires and do my field connector for the NEMA 2000. That was quite tricky as you've got shielded wires you have to deal with. Thanks for watching this episode. There's only a handful more before we get back on the water. But we still have a few more projects to do. And possibly new sails, some decking um, and some other things to get back on the water. So. Uh, Stick around for that and uh, leave comments down below and I'll catch you guys next time.